Good morning, it's Barbara. Headed outside, but I've got a little video clip to show you first. Okay, happy anniversary, happy 4th of July, and maybe going to the fish store today wasn't the best idea. Some very lovely young girls pulled out in front of me and we crashed. Oh, hold on, I gotta give the guy the keys. This is the very nice man who's going to tow my car away somewhere to be revealed at another time and then we have to find a uh, body shop who will um, fix it. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, Dennis will be here in, back in the minute. He went and took all the groceries home and he'll be right back. This is only a mile and a half from my... He's going to shred my tire. He's shredding my tire. He claims he didn't shred my tire, but we'll see. I got him on video now. So anyway, Dennis took the fish home and now I'll wait for him to come and get me in. Plus the cops aren't done with me yet. So one of the cops gave me a ride home. Dennis was there and went and took the groceries home I and thought I was going to be longer so everybody was leaving so I had the cops but we just passed Dennis so I'm on the deck waiting for him to come and let me in I could dig in my purse I, I probably have a key I'm not sure I do anyway so I'm not that thrilled with this content you know having content is one thing a bee sting that's one thing this too much too much so I think we're postponing our dinner till tomorrow I'm not in the mood at the moment. I'll talk. Good morning, it's Barbara. Thank you for joining me for coffee. I'm fine. I'm fine. I have a little bit of a seatbelt bruise on my chest, but otherwise I'm fine. I'm achy. I got some aches. And I got woken up. Well, I wasn't really asleep, but the phone rang at eight o'clock this morning. And it was the insurance company, and I talked to them for, well, the whole conversation. And then I, then I, at the very end, I'm like, wait a minute, you're not my insurance company, you're her insurance company. She said, that's right. <laughs> I said, well, it doesn't change anything what I tell you, but, you know, I should have realized. <laughs> but the story's the same, whichever insurance company it is so i was merrily driving back from the fish store and i had the right away and she didn't see me she just i'm pretty sure she stopped at the stop sign i mean i you know i'm not sure sure but i'm pretty sure she stopped at the stop sign she just didn't see me coming and she just pulled right in front of me so i swerved into the other lane luckily nobody was coming but i think if someone was coming the other way she wouldn't have pulled in front of me <laughs> so i swerved into the other lane and she hit my well you saw my front passenger side corner of my car and as you saw the uh um, tow truck driver, he drove it onto that flatbed, but it was rubbing the tire, so we'll see. But anyway, <laughs> but her insurance company was really quick on the mark. I haven't heard from mine yet. We we reported it online last night, uploaded a picture, and I'm assuming that we'll hear from them today, but we'll need to contact the guys who towed it and figure out where we want them to send it. It's pretty sure it's just body work that needs to be done, but they'll tell us. Well, it's definitely just body work, but I don't know if the, if the uh, radiator got injured or anything like that. So we shall see. Um, I don't know if you saw, noticed her car in that video clip. In fact, I went back, I didn't take any pictures of her car. And so I went back and took a screenshot from that video because it showed that the whole front end is kind of smashed in. Her whole front end is smashed in. Her car was totaled. Nobody was injured. There were, she had a friend, I think it was a friend, 
Could have been her sister, but a friend. In the car. So, we both, you know, I kind of pulled out of the lane I was in because I was, you know, we were completely um, blocking the street. And uh, so I, I moved my car into the, my lane so that at least one lane of traffic could get by. Well, several people, are you okay? Do you need help? Do, should I, do you need a phone? I'm like, no, we're good. Thank you. Um, so I got out of my car. She and her friend got out of her. Of course, I had, they were out of their car before I was because I had to continue moving mine. Her car would, they, her car was not going anywhere. And, uh, so they were out and they're coming over and I get out of the car and we're all at the same time saying, are you okay? Are you okay? <laughs> they were very sweet. So I'm just like, are you okay? And I like hugged her and then I hugged her friend. I'm okay. I'm okay. Really? I was very shaken up though. I was very shaken up, but I am okay. I have a bruise, which I was attributing to my, um, steering wheel, but I'm sure it's actually from my seatbelt. And uh, other than that, fine. You know, I've got, I'm have got i sore because I tensed up and whatever. And I'm sore from the bruising on my chest. So when I start hiccuping today, which I do almost every video, it's going to hurt a little bit. <laughs> oh, and, and laughing. Although I'll tell you... <laughs> Laughing doesn't hurt as much today <laughs> as it did yesterday. Yesterday was like, stop making me laugh. Oh. So I've been taking Advil and I'm fine. I'm really fine. <laughs> but now we have to deal with it, you know. Luckily, we have two cars. We have our dog car. Or it was so sweet. Do you need to borrow my car? I'm like, no, no, we're good. We're good. And, you know, if we ever do need two cars at the same time, she was quite willing to lend us her car was really sweet she called me. so I called well so anyway we hugged each other everybody's nobody's hurt she was just like she this is entirely my fault you know I I I didn't see you I'm like I have a red car she says I know I you know but it was an, entirely my fault she says it's my first accident I've ever had I don't know how old she was she probably I don't know, between 20 and 25, very young, um, very sweet, and uh, and her friend too. And a guy came up and parked behind her, and um, cute guy, and started directing traffic and things like that. He said he hadn't seen the, the actual accident, so we didn't have any other witnesses, but he came up upon us pretty directly and I don't know if you could tell but her front end was completely smashed did I just say her car is totaled her car is totaled but um I we were you know if we're in the country and depending on where you are in the country we have some really bad cell um service now Hannah the driver was able to, she had cell service. Her friend didn't. I, I didn't, although Dennis said he could hear me, but I couldn't hear him. I didn't know I had gotten through when I tried to call him. But the guy in the truck who stopped and directed traffic lent me his phone and I was able to get through to Dennis and, uh, and he came because it was only about a mile from my house. And, um, you know, so he came and he just, you know, emptied the car because, of course, the car was going to be towed. And um, and I had groceries. I had just come from the from the fish store, so I had I had a big plastic thing because I had gotten a dozen oysters. Or and I were going to have oysters, and and then fish the fish and the lobster tails. And so he. Uh, it looked like I was going to be a little bit while and that I was okay. And so he went home to take the groceries and it turns out it didn't take me. I didn't have to stay as long as I thought I did. And so, and he had tried to contact the insurance company and call his mother, which I didn't realize. And 
you know, whatever. So things were clearing up and I asked the cop to t uh, take me home and he did. So we passed Dennis. <laughs> <laughs> so I was sitting on the deck and I, when I videoed that and, and I thought, ah, let me dig in my purse. I'm sure I have my house key because I never use my house key. We go in and out the garage using a garage door opener. So, but I did. So I went in. But I called Aura and said, I think I'm going to have to cancel dinner tonight. And she says, oh, Dennis called me. I said, oh, good. She said, you know, how are you, how are you feeling? I'm like, oh, you know, I'm sore on my chest, but I'm fine. And then she called me later. Like, I think she called about nine o'clock. I, I'm sitting here thinking about you. Are you okay? How are you doing? She's the sweetest thing. She's the sweetest thing. So we're having our lobster tonight. How are I? I ate the oysters yesterday. You, you know, oysters on the half shell, you, you eat them directly. <laughs> So I did. So she's not getting any oysters. She didn't know if she liked them or not. She said, ah, who knows? I probably wouldn't like them anyway. <laughs> she wasn't, she didn't care. But I was eating them and I said to Dennis, oh, and, and, and we had the champagne, but, but he found another bottle of champagne in the basement. So he put it in the fridge this morning. So we're going to have champagne with Aura tonight with our lobster tails. I had bought another, I had bought some cod while I was there, you know, when you're at the fish store. So, uh, we had the cod last night, but I had the oysters with my champagne for starters. And I'm like, oh, my oysters are all, you know, half of them, you know, half of them sort of the meat fell out of the shell. And, you know, I'm not getting hardly any of the liquor, you know, because when you open, you get the briny juice with the oyster. And then I said, oh, yeah, my oysters were in a car accident. <laughs> and that's why I'm not getting any of the, of the, uh liquor <laughs> okay <laughs> but anyway oh the other funny thing is i got he carry my oysters out he says do you want your your bread and coleslaw and i'm like bread and coleslaw he said yeah there's something in, you know and i had seen kind of a basket -y thing in there and i thought well maybe that's what they put the lobster tails in so so my bill came to a lot because the lobster was very expensive and I told him it was my anniversary. And my anniversary gift to Dennis was I had them o open the oysters so he didn't have to. And the guy laughed. And it was uh, two hours until they were closing um, because they had shortened hours because of the holiday. And I'm assuming those are the reasons, but he gave me a lobster roll kit. They sell lobster roll kits. So it's like a little thing of lobster salad and a couple of rolls. Um, lobster rolls are a main, it's a sandwich. Um, it's like a long bun sliced on the top and then stuffed with lobster, um, salad, sort of stop, you know, chopped lobster and mayonnaise and stuff. And I don't know what he thought it was coleslaw. Maybe it was, maybe it was some kind of sauce. I'm not sure. I, I'm like, wow. I, I said, so um, I think it was because my order was a, a lot of money and it was my anniversary and they were closing soon and they had all these lobster roll kits and figured that uh, they weren't going to be able to sell them. So it was like a little anniversary present in my package. It was very sweet of them. So we, we tasted, Dennis had lobster roll, lobster salad for his part of his um, appetizer and I had my oysters. The lobster salad was okay. I'm hoping the lobsters are a little more lobstery. We're having them tonight. So, anyway, I said to Dennis last night, you know, this con having content for my vlog is really getting out of hand. <laughs> oh, <laughs> self laugh. Anyway, so I didn't do much after that. I took some Advil. Of it. Well, actually, I didn't take it until I talked to Or. I'm like, oh, I should be taking Advil. This is the that's gonna help, you know. So I took some Advil and and I read a book I've read before. I'm like, I I can't even deal with anything new. I'm just gonna sit here and try not to be too sore. I had trouble falling asleep, um, but it didn't feel like it was so much because I was a little bit sore. It felt more like because 
I thought maybe I still had the adrenaline or, or something, you know, because I was usually when I can't sleep, I am laying there with my eyes closed and it's just my mind is going, my eyes weren't even closed. So I went and got my phone and read my phone for an hour and then they called me at eight o'clock. So I only got a few hours sleep, probably four, four hours sleep. But, you know, for me, that's actually <laughs> on the good side of not good. <laughs> so anyway. But I'm fine. It was an eventful anniversary. And of course, the neighbors across the street. Oh, I forgot to look this morning. The neighbors across the street had more fireworks. They had fireworks three nights in a row now. Poor Pearl. Although she reacts better to the fireworks than she does to thunder. Um, she can tell the difference. And she knows if it's not actually making noise, it's probably okay. Right, puppy? But the, when it thunders, she, you know, she's worried about in between the thunders, too. She doesn't really worry too much in between the bangs. But she spent the evening underneath Dennis's desk. He's got a very nice, cavey area under his desk. And she lays under there when she needs to feel protected. So she did that. And we were all okay. So we're all okay. The car's in the, where it got towed. We're waiting to hear from our insurance company. I'm telling you, 8 o'clock in the morning, that woman called me. And I didn't even register that it wasn't my insurance company. I kept thinking, you should have this information. Don't just put this in the computer. <laughs> but like I said, it doesn't change what I'm going to tell her. You know, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> But the policeman did not make any determination of fault at the scene. And I was, I, we were kind of separated and I did not um, hear what she said, but she said many times, several times to me and to Dennis and, you know, the young, handsome young man who uh, directed traffic heard her also say, this is entirely my fault. And so I, I, I'm quite sure well, it's obvious from the damage to the cars, too, and what, where we were coming from and where we were going. So um, I'm not worried about it. But because they haven't had an official determination of whose fault it was, they're, they're, her insurance company isn't going to pay anything until that happens. So I'll be working through my insurance company. So they didn't call me at 8 o'clock in the morning. So we shall see. Anyway, um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do today. I'll probably um, straighten up a little bit because Laura is coming for dinner tonight. And I never got to the straightening up part yesterday. And I'm going to stop at the store on my way to pick her up because we're going to have green beans almondine with our lobster tail. And they didn't have green beans at the fish store. They sometimes do. They had um, asparagus and potatoes, but they didn't have green beans. So I will be buying some green beans, and um, and I told Aura I was gonna go to the store, so she should think about if she needs anything. So I might pick up something for her too. And we're gonna have lobster tonight. So we're gonna celebrate two nights in a row. Champagne, two nights in a row. Anyway, I hope you all had a nice 4th of July and a better weekend <laughs> than me. It's fine. I'm fine. I really am fine. And I will talk to you tomorrow. So please stay safe and stay sane. <laughs>